Just as times have changed, so has the jewelry industry. With all of the options out there today, it can be hard to identify quality. Diamond expert Nancy Eklund is, has a few tips to help out. Thanks for coming on the show today. Thanks for inviting me. Well, first of all, what's the most important thing to look for in a diamond? Well, there are actually four C's that you often hear talked about. So they're all important. Some are more important. It depends on personal preference for one thing, but color, clarity, carat weight, and most important in my opinion is cutting, and that's, the, that's what makes it sparkle. Okay, so um, how do you know if a diamond is high quality? Well, there are a lot of times diamonds are certified, and that will give you all the information that you need to know about your diamond. The big thing is most people need a little ed education. So what we like to do is teach you a little bit about what of those four C's is important, what do they mean, mm -hmm. and uh, take it from there. Okay, because it is a big investment in some cases, so it is good to get educated like you said. Absolutely. What about the, you, you talked about clarity, um, and what do you mean by that? Clarity refers to the flaws that, in your, that are in your diamond. Not all flaws are bad. They're kind of like little fingerprints that will help identify your stone. So if you cannot see them to the naked eye, they won't affect the beauty of your diamond. And we see a picture right now, of it's, it's like a flawless all the way to, well, there's numbers there that I don't understand. So it's, it's like there's imperfections, the little red dots. Right. And can you see that with the naked eye? You can see when you get into the I1, 2, and 3, those are called imperfect diamonds. You can definitely see them when you look at them with the naked eye. What we recommend is something that's VS to SI, which means very slightly included to slightly included. Under the microscope, you will find those flaws, but to your naked eye, you won't. Okay. So that will save you a lot of money over a flawless diamond. Well, what about man-made? Uh, would that be flawless? No, a man-made diamond would still have inclusions in it. Okay, so, so it's best to go the natural road. Well, natural is always <laughs> best. And anyway, man-made diamonds aren't really on the market sure. yet. Okay, okay. And uh, how does carat weight work? Well, just like there are 100 pennies in a dollar, there are 100 points in a carat. That's how you weigh diamonds. Okay, and uh, the, the diamonds that are usually naturally flawed, um, do people introduce any kind of those flaws? No, they're trapped in that carbon as they're formed and they can be dirt, they can be crystals, they can be different things, they can be air pockets. That's what the flaws are. Okay, well you work with diamonds all the time. You're handling them all the time. Does the magic of diamonds wear off after a while or does it intensify? I think it intensifies and the thing is diamonds are so personal. You know, you come into my store, you're looking for a diamond. My goal is to help you find exactly what you're looking for in your price range. So that it brings kind of an element of, I don't know, it's, it's just intrigue <laughs> and it's fun. Okay, and uh, say someone wants to get a diamond, they can't afford a lot right now, they go and get one, can you upgrade it later? Absolutely, absolutely okay. you can. How, how does that Most work? stores will, if you buy a diamond from them, they will let you trade it back in for a larger stone. Okay, so. so that is possible. Mm -hmm. What about different styles? We have some diamonds here. Uh, we're taking some, some shots of. Talk about the styles and the differences. You know, jewelry has changed so much over the years and you will find everything from a very basic setting um, to today, things are very ornate. There's a lot of vintage style with many, many little diamonds in it. It's kind of like decorating or anything else. It's mm -hmm. personal taste. What do you want? So, you know, that can refer to this type of ring that you're getting or the type of diamond that you buy. Sure. You know, there are different shapes of diamonds as well. And also colors. Uh, some of the colors of the diamonds here in the middle of your display are not the crystal clear type. Um, actually, it's not the color there. What you're looking at, there are two diamonds that are yellow. Yep. One is a natural yellow diamond. The other is an enhanced yellow diamond. So that is another option as a color diamond to a white diamond. And what's the difference between the enhanced and the natural? Well, the natural is, of course, more expensive, more valuable, because that is the way that diamond formed. The enhanced diamond, they take a poor colored diamond and treat it with heat or radiation and turn it a different color. Most of those would be yellow or blue. Sure, okay. Um, when picking a diamond today, is, is it different than it was in the past? I think the big thing is um, diamond standards have changed. They've, just like many things with technology, they've perfected, for instance, a round brilliant, 
what makes that diamond sparkle the best. And so they've come up with proportions and angles that will make an ideal cut stone. Um, that's one factor. People have become more educated. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of people come in, they've done some research. They know that you want to look for a near car colorless to colorless diamond. They know you want a VS2 or an mm -hmm. SI1. And you know they've done research on cutting standards. So that makes a difference. Sure. People didn't have that back then. One last question for you. If, if, uh, if someone's going in and they want to surprise someone with a diamond, what advice would you give them? If you want to surprise them, it's, it's good to know what shape they like, if you can know that mar at least that much. Then once you have established your budget, often what we will do, some guys just take that diamond, they pick the diamond, put it in a little box, give it that way, or we'll just give them a loan or a Tiffany setting, just a real basic engagement ring, so they can at least propose with that ring, and then she can help him pick out the perfect ring All that right. she'll keep forever. Well, there's so much. Thanks so much for giving us a touch of the uh, the... All of the different things that go into buying buying something like this. Thanks Thank so you. much. You bet.